Racism. As we all know, it died for good the night Barack Obama was elected president. <laughs> but a strange thing happened this week. We learned that racism may be coming back to life. And it turns out, it's already in the House. House Republican leaders came down hard on one of their own last night. Iowa Congressman Steve King was stripped of his committee assignments less than a week after making a comment to the New York Times that was widely seen as racist. The decision was made by House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy and other top Republicans. These are not the first time we've heard these comments. Um, that is not the party of Lincoln and is definitely not America. He ought to resign and move on and let someone else who represents American values take his seat. One Republican who did not weigh in was President Trump. I don't, I haven't been following it. I really haven't been following it. You haven't been following it? Like, what, what else are you doing? I'm extremely busy, folks. Do you think a name like Jeff Bozo just comes out of nowhere, huh? <laughs> Genius like that takes time. But this is a big deal. The Republican Party has punished one of its own for making racist comments. And if you haven't been keeping up with the story, what happened is, in an interview with the New York Times, Steve King basically said that he doesn't think there's anything wrong with being a white supremacist. Now, that feels like a pretty racist thing to say, which makes it even more surprising that Trump isn't following this. I mean, you'd think an algorithm or something would have recommended it by now. Be like, <laughs> if you like Charlottesville, you'll love Steve King. <laughs> But as damning as King's comments sound to most people, he's claiming that it's not what he said, it's just how we heard it. The New York Times is suggesting that I'm an advocate for white nationalism and white supremacy. I want to make one thing abundantly clear. I reject those labels and the evil ideology that they define. Ah, okay. So Steve King went from saying those terms are not offensive to then rejecting them and calling them evil. I haven't seen a turnaround that drastic since the movie Titanic. Remember where the iceberg started off as the good guy and then out of nowhere just started killing everybody? I was like, what the hell, iceberg? <laughs> so as it stands, Steve King said a thing that's really racist, but he claims that he isn't racist at all. So which is it? Is he racist or not? Well, I think this sounds like a job for Trevor Noah, racism detective. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's still me, Trevor Noah, racism detective. You can tell I'm a real detective because I'm wearing a funny hat and I have a magnifying glass for, like, burning ants or whatever people use that for. <laughs> so, now that I have all my gear, it's time to investigate whether Congressman Steve King is actually a racist. And here's our first clue. A clip of Steve King in 2013 saying disparaging things about Mexican immigrants. They aren't all valedictorians. They weren't all brought in by their parents. Uh, for everyone who's a valedictorian, there's another hundred out there that um, they weigh 130 pounds and they've got calves the size of cantaloupes because they're hauling 75 pounds of marijuana across the desert. Okay, that, that's like the weirdest math problem I've ever heard. <laughs> if Jose is 130 pounds and he's hauling 75 pounds of marijuana, his calves would be the size of what fruit? <laughs> Like, the weirdest part of this one is that King isn't even working off existing stereotypes. He's just making up new ones that don't exist. <laughs> Mexicans have cantaloupe calves? <laughs> you can't even tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Even Mexicans are like, thank you? <laughs> I mean, I have been getting my steps in. <laughs> so the first clue is racist seeming. But on the other hand, cantaloupe isn't a racist fruit. Like, if he really wanted to be racist, he could have said bananas or watermelon. You know, classic racist fruit. So we still need more proof. And look, what's this? It's another clue. <laughs> when you talked about Muslims working in your pork plants and say, I don't want Muslims work working in my pork plant because they need extra But I didn't say that. What did you, you say? Gotta have, Chris, you gotta have a sense of humor here's here. This, wait, here's the I'm, sound bite. I, the rationale is that it's infidels that are eating this pork. They're not eating it. So as long as they're preparing this pork for infidels, it helps send them <laughs> to hell and it must make Allah happy. Um, Jeez. Why do, I don't want people doing my pork that won't eat it. Fair enough. Damn. So Steve King says he doesn't want Muslims working in pork factories because he thinks it makes them happy to feed the rest of us pork because it'll send us to hell. So in his mind, 
There are some Muslims who hate everyone else so much, they're like, I want to destroy these infidels. Let's blow them up. No, no, too easy. <laughs> Let's open a pork shop. <laughs> Feed them delicious bacon and watch them enjoy themselves for many years until they die naturally and then go to hell. Ha, 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 Bacon grease, bacon grease. <laughs> so he said Mexicans are drug mules with cantaloupe calves and Muslims are trying to damn our souls with pork. But I don't know. Does that mean he's racist? Or is he just hungry? <laughs> Without more clues, we can never know. Unless there's a third clue. This Western civilization still is a, but... is a superior civilization. You cannot rebuild your civilization with somebody else's babies. You've got to keep your birth rate up. <laughs> God damn it, that was so racist it burned my lungs. <laughs> You can't rebuild a civilization with someone else's babies. I mean, on the one hand, he's right. Babies are terrible at building stuff. <laughs> have you ever given a baby a power tool? I have. That's why I'm not allowed near daycare centers anymore. <laughs> but what King is actually saying is that minority babies could never be American. Only white babies can truly be American. I assume they're taught how to become American by their Filipino nannies. <laughs> so we got three clues but it still doesn't feel like we have enough to know for sure that Steve King is racist. If only he had said something else, something really, really explicitly racist, like this. Go back through history and figure out where are these contributions that have been made by these other categories of people that you're talking about? If, that what, where did any other subgroup of people contribute more to civilization? Than white people? Than, than Western civilization itself that's rooted in Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and the United States of America, and every place where the footprint of Christianity Africa? settled the world. Asia? That's all of Western civilization. Oh. oh, man, Steve King actually has a good point here, folks. Other cultures haven't really contributed anything to human civilization. I mean, the paper in front of him was invented in China, but that doesn't count. <laughs> Who's ever used paper? And the numbers on that sign behind him, India came up with those, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and the Christianity he just mentioned, obviously that came from the Middle East. So that's three things that non-white cultures contributed to humanity, but I mean, who's counting other than the Indians? So... <laughs> Let's look at the evidence. On the one hand, we have Steve King being racist towards Mexicans, Muslims, and the entire non-white world. But on the other hand, he says he's not racist. Huh. Even I'm not good enough as a racism detective to crack this one. So I guess it'll just have to remain a mystery. Join me next week when I investigate cross burnings. Are they racist? Or just a dramatic way to roast marshmallows? <laughs> I will try to find out. <laughs> 